So Nigeria is a former British colony. It gained independence in 1960, and broadly, uh, Great Britain governed northern and southern Nigeria pretty differently. So in northern Nigeria, prior to the British arrival in the north, there was a Sokoto Caliphate who the British conquered in 1903. But rather than wiping it out after executing and running off the political leaders of the Caliphate who were unwilling to accept British sovereignty, they left in place those leaders that were willing to acknowledge British sovereignty, right? So those political institutions were left intact during colonial rule, and a lot of the local leaders were left intact as long as they acknowledged there was a higher authority above them. Uh, the South is, is different. There is more intervention as a result of the interests of British trading companies who, you know, their primary interest in Nigeria was extracting raw materials and exporting it and making a profit off of it. And there's also a greater role for Christian missionaries, um, which were not allowed in northern Nigeria for the most part uh, during colonial rule. So this has resulted in um, a lot of converts to Christianity in the South, and now the South today is heavily Christian and the North is still heavily Muslim. Because of this presence of trading companies as well as um, Christian missionaries, there was um, greater education in English and a small group of Nigerians were also employed in the colonial administration as well as trading companies as well. Um, so as a result of, you know, British interference or um, the role of missionaries and um, trading uh, companies, the South was comparatively better off at the time of independence than the North. I just want to be clear that colonial rule was violent and exploitive and did not do anyone any, fa any favors in Nigeria. But to the North, the South is doing uh, slightly better. And these regional divides um, remain today, right, where the North is still uh, relatively worse off. And you know, part of you know understanding why that is is because of colonial rule, but it's it's also um, because of of decades of, of poor governance too, and military rule as well as in corruption that has further entrenched uh, this regional divide between the the north and the south.